rainbow. It was morning at the circus. Hopeful mothers looked up as storks flew overhead. Each stork carried a tiny bundle that held a baby animal. Mrs. Jumbo sighed as she watched the happy mothers cuddling their babies. Oh dear, I did so hope there would be a bundle for me, she thought. A stork flew into Mrs. Jumbo's railway car and delivered a large bundle. Inside was a baby elephant. I'll call him Jumbo Jr., said Mrs. Jumbo. The other elephants thought he was adorable. Just then, Mrs. Jumbo's baby sneezed. Out flapped two enormous ears. The other elephants gasped. Then they began to giggle. He looks so funny, said one elephant. Let's call him Dumbo. Mrs. Jumbo didn't care what the other elephants thought. She loved her baby, big ears and all. She lifted him up in her trunk and gently rocked him to sleep. That night, the circus train stopped and all the animals climbed out. The next morning, the circus parade made its way through town. The band played and the people clapped and cheered. Crowds hurried to the circus tent that night, eager to see all the animals. Look at his ears, cried one boy, teasing Dumbo. Aren't they the funniest things you ever saw? Mrs. Jumbo trumpeted with anger. She raised a hay bale to throw at the boys, and they ran away in terror. The ringmaster thought she was dangerous, so he had Dumbo's mother taken away and locked in a cage. Back in the tent, the other elephants gossiped about Dumbo's mother. Such disgraceful behavior, they said. It's all his fault, you know. And they turned their backs on Dumbo. A mouse called Timothy felt sorry for Dumbo. We have to make you a star, Timothy told him. Suddenly, they heard the ringmaster. We'll make an elephant pyramid. We just need a big finish, the man said. So as soon as the ringmaster was asleep, Timothy crept into his tent. Your big finish is the little elephant with big ears, Dumbo, he said in the ringmaster's ear. Dumbo, mumbled the ringmaster. Dumbo. The next morning, the ringmaster tried out his new idea. But when Dumbo ran to jump on the top elephant, oh no, he tripped over his big ears and knocked the whole pyramid over. Now the elephants were angrier than ever with Dumbo. But the ringmaster had another idea. Dumbo could become a clown. He dressed Dumbo like a baby and put him at the top of a burning building. The other clowns pretended to be firefighters. They sprayed Dumbo with water and held a hoop for him to jump into. Poor Dumbo was terrified. Down, down he dropped until he fell through the hoop. Into a tub of sticky goo. The audience cheered and roared with laughter, but Dumbo was not happy at all. To cheer him up, Timothy said, we'll go see your mother. Dumbo and his mother were overjoyed to see each other. Mrs. Jumbo put her trunk through the bars of her cage and cuddled her son. Sadly, it was soon time for Dumbo to go. He fell asleep. The next thing Dumbo and Timothy knew, it was morning. They opened their eyes and saw a group of crows. Dumbo and Timothy were up in a tree. How did he get up here, asked a crow. Dumbo was so surprised, he lost his balance. He and Timothy tumbled into a pond below. I wonder how we got in that tree, said Timothy, shaking himself dry. Maybe you flew, a crow joked. That's it, cried Timothy. Dumbo, you flew up there. The little elephant looked surprised. He couldn't really fly. Could he? You just have to believe in yourself, Dumbo, said Timothy. One crow gave Timothy an ordinary feather and said, This is a magic feather. It will help Dumbo fly. Holding the feather in his trunk, Dumbo stood at the edge of a cliff. Before he could change his mind, the crows pushed Dumbo and off he went. All at once, Dumbo was flapping his big ears, and he was flying. 
You did it, cried Timothy. That night at the circus, Dumbo stood at the top of the burning building with the feather in his trunk. Take off, said Timothy. But just as Dumbo jumped, he dropped the feather and started to fall. Flap your ears, cried Timothy. You can fly. You can. Dumbo began to flap his ears as fast as he could. Suddenly, he was flying. He soared past the cheering crowds. Dumbo was a star. Soon, crowds were flocking to the circus to see Dumbo the Amazing Flying Elephant. The happy ringmaster freed Dumbo's mother and gave her a special train car just for her and Dumbo, her little star.